Hey guys, and today I am going to be doing a book review on the book Into the Tall, Tall Grass. And it's a book by Lori Orion. And the summary of this book is, All the women in Yolanda's family have a magical gift that she does not. And if they reveal their skills, the townspeople will call them witches. With her mom long gone, and her dad fighting in a war far away from home, with her isolated from her best friend and her sister, her grandma is her only caretaker left. Then, when her grandmother falls into an unexpected sleep, Yolanda is scared. Who will she have left if she loses her grandmother? Suddenly, a strange grass emerges in the desert behind her house, and her grandmother wakes, begging Yolanda to take her to the pecan tree in their backyard. Determined, Yolanda sets off on a journey with her ex-best friend, a boy who likes her, and her sister. But what is the box that her grandma wants her to find? And how will going to the pecan tree solve anything? So that was the summary. What I liked about this book was, this book had a creative plot and idea, and it did a really good job on character development and described them really well. And it was like having an image in my mind. That's how well they described it. And it does a really good job with the backstories and conveying emotions. Because with the emotions, they make you feel empathically linked to these characters. And with the backstories, it doesn't like clog up the whole story. Like take up half of it and not leave much left for the entire plot. But it's not like super duper short where you don't get much info out of it. I feel that they did a really good job with this book and also I think that something added a lot of layers to it that couldn't have been achieved in, in another way which is excluding her from the family gift because that makes her feel kind of left out and that kind of expands her emotions makes her feel like jealous I feel like and what I did not like about this book is the only thing that I did not like about this book is it specified that only the woman in the family had a special gift, but then the grandma's brother, her grandma's brother, is revealed to have the gift of reading minds, which I don't think makes sense, because they specified that it was only women. Overall though, I think this book deserves a nine out of 10, because the problems are kind of really small, and I think that it deserves your reading time, and it's a good book, and thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and like and comment if you want me to review any other books. And thank you so much. Bye.